This is the second part of the video for exercise 3, Odd Even. Now, if we go back to the instructions, the final, re the last requirement was to, uh, well, one of the requirements was to, if the user enters a queue, then you should end the program. If the user enters a queue, then end the program. Now, to make this work, you have to do some do the extra credit part. Now it's not too difficult. I had to think about it, but it's it's not difficult once you think about it. Now if you come down here, remember the hint was here. So what if the user enters non-numeric data such as well let's just change this. Let's just Q. Q is not a number. If you try this, you will see that Scratch says that Q is even. How could that be? Well, that's an exercise for the reader. Why it's even. Okay, so the hint here is if you can add, if you can do an arithmetic operation on something, then it must be a number. So, for example, I can take what the user gave me and put it in, in another variable called temp. This is a temporary location. Then I'm going to add 1 to temp and then subtract 1 from temp. Now, if temp is not, at this point, temp should be the same as answer. If it's not the same, okay, let's just add that. At this point, temp should, should have the same value as, uh, as answer. That's true if so if If uh, answer contains a number, if answer contains a number at this point temp, at this point temp should have the same value as answer. If temp is not equal to answer, let's make that uppercase. Uh, it should have the same value as answer if answer. I shouldn't be including this in the video. Okay, so if answer contains a number, at this point temp should have the same value as answer. If temp is not equal to answer, then you know the user did not enter a number. So, how can we implement that in Scratch? Well, I decided to create a custom block again, because I like custom blocks. So you first get the value from the user, and now you want to check to see if they entered the check for Q. Now, if you didn't enter a queue, then you're going to stop the program. So here's the code down here. So the first thing you do is you set the value of your temp variable. We defined it over here. Go back to variables. We just created a variable. You're clicking on make variable, and there is our variable temp. Now, we don't have to show it, so we'll just hide it like that. And... So here we're setting the value of temp to be whatever the user gave us. Then we add one to temp and subtract one to temp. So at this point, when we get to the if, temp should be the same as answer. We haven't, you know, we just added one. You add one and subtract one to something. It's, it doesn't change its value. Now at this point, if temp is, is not equal to answer, then we say goodbye and we stop the program. So where did we get that not from? If we go back to the operators, you can see there's another operator down here called not. So I can take the not. Okay, let me zoom out. I'll just pop this out. Sorry. And unbundle this, unpackage this thing. 
So here we have our two variables. Here's the equal equality operator. So comparing, we want to see if temp is equal to answer. And then we can plug this whole thing into the not. And this just checks to see if they're not equal, which is what we're interested in. So we can plug this back in here. So if they're not equal, then you could say goodbye and stop all. Where did stop all come from? That's in the control. Down here, way at the bottom, you have this block called stop all. It means stop all the scripts. This is a way to end your program. So in here, we could add a comment. Whoops, I don't want to do that, do I? OK, how do I get out of that? I don't want to delete the block. OK, let's just press Escape. Let's press Control C. How do I get out of that? To delete a block, first remove. OK, I, can, I can't delete it. I can't delete this stuff because it's being used over here. So I want to add a comment to this. Add comment. And uh, check. Jeez. Uh, check to see if the user input in input is a cube. Okay, so what, how does this work? Well, we just looked at it. So yeah, this is not so bad, and we put it in a block so it doesn't um, overly complicate our main script. So if we run it, we know the odd and even works, so let's just give it, okay, 33. It tells us that's odd. Now we want to quit, so we type the Q, press Enter, says goodbye, and the program stops. So that's how you do that. Another useful uh, application for the, um, the quality operator, and in this case, the not operator, and also the mod operator over here for checking if it's odd or even. Here we're using the greater than operator. So all the operators are in green. Greater than operator, module division operator, equality operator, and the not operator. Okay, that's it for now, kids. See you next time.